Hello everyone and welcome to Forza Horizon 4. It has been too long, but the Rage Gauge is now producing content. Lord have mercy on us all. Today I'm joined by the Epic Racer. I am joined also by Tonic Gamer. She is wonderful. And last but certainly not least, Mr. Starlight Glimmer, who is responsible for painting my wonderful Lamborghini here. Now, if you'll notice, I am currently dressed like Santa. Now, as you can see in the world of Forza, it is currently winter. So I thought it would be fun to do a Christmas themed challenge, if you will, even though when I'm recording this, it is May. So before you hop in the comments saying it's May, I know it's May. So the challenge today, boys, Mrs. Claus has put Santa Claus on a diet. So his preposterous body will no longer fit in his sleigh. So today's challenge is to find out which is the best tiny vehicle for Mr. Claus. And we will then proceed to find out which one in a series of races. Are you ready for this? Any of you? Yeah. Maybe, so, yeah. Let's go and see what we can do. Now, the specification for this challenge is it is to be S1 900 max. It can be any configuration you want. You're allowed engine swaps. You're allowed anything like that as long as it is, as it is considered a small vehicle. Now, for a small vehicle, it has to be relatively small and don't be pedantic and just accept if it is a small vehicle or not. It can be any class as long as it doesn't pa go past S1 900. So, let's see what we've got on store. Now, I want something with a decent amount of power. But I want Santa to also look cool doing it because there's no point rocking up in a, a bar 595 and discovering that the Easter Bunny has got a brand new Mustang. Right, <laughs> I have chosen my small-ish vehicle. It only has two seats and a small-ish bonnet. And it's even red to match my lovely Santa outfit. Now, what upgrades do I want? Okay, I am done. Now, I have more designed this for the rally segment, but we'll see how we go. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Santa's a rich boy! Things are going to get interesting. Things are going to get very interesting. My sleigh is a... Uh... Oh! Like what I did. Yeah, okay. See, the bottom part is snow, basically. And I got my Wait. Santa outfit. How long did that take? <laughs> Almost the whole time. I don't know if you noticed, um, I was talking about the like actual real life. I said that at the beginning, when I said don't give me shit <laughs> about it being in May when I'm recording it. <laughs> I know it's May, but if you noticed, it's snowing! <laughs> I am I done. To... Oh! Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I... Ep Epic has decided to be a budget Ferris Bueller. <laughs> okay. Right. All red. So, here we go. Now, the important thing about being Santa is, although you're heavy, you've got to be quick. And it's not just quick period, but you have to be stop, start, stop, start. So, I thought it would be interesting for us to see who is the quickest off the mark with a little drag race.
<laughs> now we have got to see if we are faster. Let's do this thing. We have got to see faster than the little elves. The elves can afford a lot better cars than Santa Claus can. Here we go. Oh my god, look at the little something go! Yes! Yep, there's the fourth gear. Oh my lord! That was. I only know that he's unbelievably not have that much quick. Ability. Well, that's another win to add to, the, to this car's tally of wins. If you know what I mean. Oh, oh whatever. I was in a reliant back then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what I get in a wheel spin. Let's see what I get in a wheel spin. 15,000 credits. And I... Bye. Really? So, with us finding out that the little sunbeam is fast as all hell, that is something I did not expect. Eric came a respectable second, Star came in third, and Tonic finished up at the back of the pack. So, yep. now being Santa Claus oh, is a very, very strenuous job. You have to navigate things. You have to be sure that you know where you're going. And that sometimes means going off the beaten trail. So, we are going to take our little Santa mobiles on a little race. Here we are at the White Waterfalls Cross Country. Let's see which sleigh is faster off the beaten trail. <coughs> no, note to self, if a tonic suddenly disappears and I instantly shoot to last. Come on, Santa! Mrs. Claus wanted you to downsize your vehicle so that you could fit in your pants easier. Oh, Tonic's already gone! Yeah, no, oh, oh, Starlight's doing a change. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Tonic was uh, mounting my rear end. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about that either. <laughs> no, uh, please no, change no, gear no, quicker! No. Look at that little sunbeam go! Yeah, I would have been up there. Big glitch. Metal gauge didn't happen. Oh, did a metal gauge happen? You know what? Describe yeah. to the audience what a metal gauge incident is. Please? Uh, oh! Oh no! Oh no, I missed the checkpoint! Oh no, I missed the checkpoint! I missed the checkpoint! No! Which is that? That's a metal gauge moment. No! Holy shit, I'm actually catching up. Sheep, move out of the way! What do you mean, do a No, come on! Come on! Oh, I'm getting what they think. Oh no! No! Oh! I can start a second, finish second. And the student has become the teacher, or the master, Woo! or something like that. I think I'm actually good at off road. Good at off road. So the scores are as follows. Epic has got two lots of four points. I have got a three point and a two point. 
Starlight has got two points and then a one point, and Tonic has got one point, but then a three point. So Epic is clearly out front, unless he has a massive catastrophe later on. So, but being Santa Claus isn't all about being fast in the wilderness. There's also built, built up areas of the world, even though people want to deny it. So we will finish this up with a little sh race. So nice. we are here at the Greendale Super Sprint. This is a tarmac race. Let's see who is good on the tarmac. Then after this is all done, we'll tot up the final scores and see not only who is the best Santa Claus, but also what vehicle Santa Claus should buy. Yes, I've got Paul. Uh, oh, understand. Oh, oh, the Starlight. He, my dear, Starlight has race tyres. I only have rally tyres. But somehow he is drifting everywhere. Oh, no, the, oh, understand. Starlight is taking every obstacle out in his path. Oh, heavy on the brake, heavy on the brake. Oh, 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 Epic just appeared. Oh, Epic loses it. I I'm gaining, gaining, gaining. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah! I don't want to be a dirty driver. Oh no. Oh! Starlight with a little quote from a famous film franchise, which I cannot state yet. Oh, Epic coming with the swoop. Come on, BMW! Come on! I've the top speed. Shite. Yep, still going. I've reached the top speed. Gaining! 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 No! Oh god, I'm this as well. Oh! Epic almost took Starlight out, what a dirty, dirty move! But also an incredible save. Oh, 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 sorry! Come on, come on! Oh, this is where my jockey should come in handy. Oh, come on, come on! Come on, Avenger! Come on, Avenger! No! Third place again! I give it to you, Starlight. That was a good race. Hi, Beatonic! <laughs> <laughs> so, what can we conclude from these races? A. Do not get a Ford RS. <laughs> do not let it be a Ford RS 200 or a BMW Z4 Bond Edition. Now, the final scores are as follow. Tonic Gamer is in last place with four points. Following up in third place is Starlight Glimmer at six points. Yours truly. Only just edged out Starlight at seven points, but the clear winner today is Mr. Epic Racer. So congratulations to him. And the story we can take away from this is if Santa wants to buy a small car because he's gaining a little bit of weight and he wants to make himself look trim and hunky, buy a sunbeam. <laughs> Well, I have been your host, Metal Gage, and until the next episode, I will be seeing you around. Good night. <laughs>